The Bahrain handicap, not to 75, two miles and one furlong. Just three runners. I told you, David Hooley, Peregrine Obi One, and Peshaniki Stu Gray. So a three runner, not to 75, two mile, one furlong handicap. Stuck in between my three Group One races. <laughs> The sublime to the ridiculous. Peregrine is in the lead then from I told you on the inside second. And Pishaniki on the outside is in third. I'm quite sure why there's such a small field for this. Not 75 isn't that low. There's quite a few low rated distance horses around. I think I've got a funny feeling there's a, an even lower rated long distance race this week as well, but maybe that's the problem. But anyway, Peregrine's in the lead. One of these three will pick up an easy win. Necessarily easy, but you know what I mean. It's Peregrine, and I told you from Pishnik, and it's always the long distance races that have three runners. You never get a three runner sprint, and that wouldn't be so bad then, but you've got to find something to say for two miles and a furlong. I should have given this one to Jim for some practice for him for next season and get used to it. But anyway, Peregrine in the lead from I told you in second, and um, Pishnik is in third. This will take us back a couple of seasons. Obi Wan, this will take him back a few years to when he used to refer to these smaller races as me having fireside chats with people. I've not had many of them with Obi Wan this season because he's not got so many jumpers around. But as we've got one today, it's a good opportunity for me to congratulate him on his two Group 1 wins last week. I knew he had some Group 1s years ago, but he doesn't get that many anymore. And uh, it's good to see those Group 1 wins being spread around. Daniel French picking up a few in the two year old races as well. And Stu Gray coming back as well. Not quite sure whether it's the real Stu Gray. I think he's an imposter. I think he may have been captured by aliens at some point and replaced by some sort of cross between Vincent O'Brien and David Nicholson. But anyway, not quite sure what's happened with Stu, but he's um, suddenly found that little bit of fairy dust and that bit of magic. Sorry, notching up the winners. I'll move David Hooley out because he came back about I don't know, three, three, four seasons ago and immediately went straight back into the top bracket. So we might have three runners in a 0 75 handicap. We've got three trainers who know what they're doing. If you read the forums, you'll see that Serious Chill Obi Wan puts a lot of thought into where he's putting his horses and trials them over the distance and the conditions, I'm not sure many people do that, I wouldn't have the time to be honest, but it's good if you could, I suppose I could make the time I wanted to, but I should not give up commentating and start trying it instead, Peregrine in the lead, it only worked for him last week, let's see if he's going to work this week, I told you he's in second, the top weight, and the bottom weight is Pesheniki, past the four pole, Peregrine is in front, leading by a good four. Two, I told you in second. Peshaniki back in third. They've only got two and a half furlongs left to go. Peregrine is in front. Looks like I told you he's starting to reel him in though. I think Peshaniki's now on for third. Peregrine. One of these Obi Wan horses can battle last week. So it's going to be difficult for Old Told you to get past him, but he's just managing it now in the final half furlong. And Old Told you will take it on a couple of lengths to Peregrine in second and Pesheniki about 10 12 lengths back in third. So Old Told you wins it for David Hooley. Peregrine second for Obi Wan, Pesheniki third for Stu Gray. They're finished 1 2 3 in race card order.